Awesome opportunity to start spring. Uh, I know it feels like Christmas for a lot of us out here, coaches and players. New group, new season, brings a lot of hope and a lot of opportunity. You know, anytime you start a, a, with a new group or a new season, first thing you do is acquire elite people. And I thought that's what we did in, in January, uh, both player-wise and coaches-wise. A couple new coaches out here, a, couple, a lot of new players out here. Uh, and then you put in a great culture. And we instituted that with Coach Ice and strength and conditioning over an eight-week cycle. And then what do you do in spring? You institute your systems and you improve technique and fundamentally. And this is practice one. We get 15 of these opportunities. We got to make the most of each and every one of them. And uh, proud of the guys today. Their attitude and effort was exemplary. Uh, got a lot of stuff we can correct uh, after one day. <laughs> Looked like day one a lot, uh, but uh, looking forward to getting back out here Thursday. We'll be out every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and we welcome everybody uh, from media to fans to everyone. So, uh, with that, I'll take any questions you have. Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad we have 40 practices between now and the first game um, because, you know, you, you, you have, you know, a young man in Dex that's coming from a new school. You got David Dallas that's, you know, playing football for the first time in two years. JC that's coming off injury. Tyler Budge that, you know, was supposed to be at his high school prom right now and, and is here. Uh, you got Fitz who's competing and, you know, Kobe going into his second year. So you got some guys with some inexperience that have to grow, you know, and it's one practice. Um, I like some of the decision making they made today. You didn't see a lot of forced balls today, which was good. Um, could have been a little bit more accurate and could have caught more balls, uh, to be honest with you, wide receiver wise. So um, for first day, good. Uh, way too soon to make any early prediction. Just we're just trying to get focused on trying to get a little bit better each and every day at that position. As you can tell, we're two spotting a lot of things, which means we got two drills going on at the same time to let them acquire the reps that are needed to grow. What stood out the most to you out of today's practice, team practice? <laughs> I think I think the biggest thing is I, what I felt this year compared to last defensively. If you remember last year, we had just lost Will Harris to the San Diego Chargers about a week before spring ball, putting in a new system. And what I felt today was tremendous communication by the defense, 11 guys on the same page doing their job. And it feels, feels like you t year two uh, with the same coordinator. And that's what you want. And so uh, that, that'll that help me sleep a little bit tonight is feeling that uh, sense of urgency by the defense and great communication communication and production by them today. That was your first point when talking with the group afterward. Yeah. How important is it with all the, the big changes that have happened over the last month and a half that whether you're new, whether you're yeah. in your second or third year, yeah. you're communicating and you're talking with your team. Yeah, definitely. It's it's and that's the name of the game, especially you know the passion of college football as loud as you, you're going to get. I mean, we're, we're going to have the opportunity to go to Nevada, which is a loud stadium, Oxford, Mississippi, which is a loud stadium. Obviously, uh, the passion that goes on in the interconference right now in the Sun Belt, you know. So communication is everything, and being on the same page. And I thought defensively, it was extremely well done today. Um, and so um, usually how camp goes, uh, you got a lot in offensively. You start learning it, and getting better and better. And and better with each day. So I look forward to seeing the growth offensively, and I hope we can stay consistently the effort and attitude and the production we saw defensively today. Why is Ryan Applin the guy who could, as you progress, mm -hmm. the guy that can make this <laughs> offensive firepower next year? Yeah, I love consistency, especially when I know what the offense can do with this with this personnel. Um, and, you know, having Ryan be a part of this offense for two years, being really in depth in game planning over the last two years, basically handling all third downs, which we were top 25, I think two years in a row in, in third down efficiency. You know, it, it was a natural progression. These kids know him, they trust him, they believe in him. It wasn't an overhaul of a system. We're going into the third year where we're, I think we could be a Elite. I think the biggest area of growth and the challenge for Ryan and the offense is to grow the quarterbacks, to establish a guy and a guy that plays at an extremely high level and at an elite level with the get the the playmakers that are around him because there's a lot of them right now. 
yeah, you, you know, I thought Dex did a nice job. You, you could tell he's he's going into, you know, he's had multiple years in college and has had reps. I thought he showed nice poise today. Um, I, you know, I, I there were times where I I would hope for a little bit better accuracy. I think he would say that too. But to walk out here your first day in the blue and white and to have show that much poise, I, I thought each and every one of the kids did uh, at quarterback. Um, even the young buck that's uh, you know, and Tyler comes out here and acts like it's high school and throws a touchdown. So I thought their poise was good as a unit, and, and Dex is an example of that. Yeah, Dex are among nearly two dozen transfers that you mm -hmm. are now starting to fold in among them, tied in from Auburn and Tyler mm -hmm. Fromm, if that's correct. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, just, you know, he really stuck out to me today as well. <clears throat> Yeah, you, you know, we, we've got the opportunity to, you know, we signed 21 high school players and brought in some key transfers at specific positions. And when you look at that tight end position, you know, losing J.J. last year, losing Keaton, I think that was about 60 catches right there between the two. Um, and so, you know, we really feel like we got some great young talent in that room, but we felt like we did need an older presence after losing that amount of production uh, and, and somebody that has experience, especially when you look at his production at the SEC level uh, and coming here, he looked uh, like another guy that, you know, is a vet. You, you could tell. I, I wish we had a, a multiple years. We only got him once, but uh, we'll enjoy every second we got him. He, he really not only is productive on the field, but he really helps those two young kids that are right there with him grow. So excited to have Tyler here. Coach, important to have some, some senior leadership mm -hmm. there yeah you, you know you could feel that um uh, defensively, I, I think a guy that really stood out to me is Justin Rhodes. Uh, you know, it, it, he had a stellar year in year one with us last year as a transfer, and you could feel his veteran presence. You could feel his senior leadership um, right from the get-go. It, it was not only in winter strength and conditioning, but in practice one today. You know, he was a force, and he, he, he is so vocal, and the guys lean on him for leadership, and he does a really nice job of leading. Is there somebody like that on offense? Yeah, you know, I think right now he does it more by example, but every time you see 25, uh, you know, and Jalen, I'm so glad he's back with us. Um, he's done it all uh, winter strength and conditioning wise. Um, and when he's out here, he, you know, he's a guy that never messes up. He, he's always assignment sound. He always makes his play. He's always giving tremendous effort. So, you know, there's a reason that he had a C on his chest last year. Um, and another reason probably will be this year too once, once the players vote. All righty, guys. Thank you. Take care.